Today we're talking about trends. No, not the latest dance moves or fashion fads. We're talking about trends in human settlement. You might not think of where people choose to live as something that changes, but it's actually in constant motion. Let's check out some of the biggest trends shaping our world right now. First up, we've got the global trend of increased migration from rural to urban areas. This is a big one. All over the world, people are leaving the countryside and heading for the city lights. Why? Cities offer jobs, education, healthcare, and all the conveniences of modern life. Whether it's a farmer in India moving to Mumbai, or a young professional in Africa heading to Lagos, people are looking for better opportunities and a higher quality of life. The result? Cities are growing at a rapid pace, with more and more people crowding into urban areas. This trend is so powerful that, for the first time in history, more people live in cities than in rural areas. But not everyone's moving to the big city. In some countries, we're seeing the opposite trend, people moving from major cities to smaller towns. This is often driven by the search for a better work-life balance, more affordable housing, or simply a quieter, less hectic lifestyle. Think of people leaving New York City for the smaller towns of upstate New York, or moving out of London to the English countryside. Smaller towns can offer a slower pace of life, more space, and still have good access to work and amenities. Thanks to improved transportation and technology, people can now work remotely from almost anywhere. Now, let's talk about the downside of all this movement, the loss of natural habitat as human settlement expands. As cities grow and people spread out into new areas, natural habitats are often the first to go. Forests are cleared for housing developments, wetlands are drained for agriculture, and grasslands are paved over for shopping malls and highways. This isn't just bad news for the animals and plants that live there, it also affects us. Natural habitats play a critical role in maintaining a healthy environment, providing clean air and water, and even helping to regulate the climate. As these areas disappear, we face bigger environmental challenges. A closely related trend is urban sprawl. Imagine a city that's expanding outwards like a blob of jelly. Instead of building up, cities are spreading out, covering more and more land with homes, roads, and businesses. This often happens when people want the benefits of city life, like jobs and entertainment, but also want more space, so they move to the suburbs. The problem, urban sprawl can lead to longer commutes, more traffic, and greater reliance on cars. It also eats up land that could be used for farming or left as natural habitat. Plus, sprawling cities often end up using more energy and water, putting a strain on the environment. Another trend to watch is land reclamation. This is when people create new land where there wasn't any before, usually by filling in bodies of water, like rivers, lakes, or the ocean. Some countries with limited space, like the Netherlands or Singapore, have been doing this for centuries. But as populations grow and cities run out of room, land reclamation is becoming more common in other places too. In fact, some of the world's most famous cities, like Hong Kong and Dubai, have been expanding their land area through reclamation. While this can help relieve overcrowding, it also raises environmental concerns, like disrupting marine ecosystems and increasing the risk of flooding. These trends, migration to cities, movement to smaller towns, loss of natural habitat, urban sprawl, and land reclamation are all interconnected. They show us how our world is changing and how our choices about where to live are shaping the planet. Each of these trends has its pros and cons, and finding the right balance is one of the biggest challenges of our time. So next time you think about where you live or where you might want to live in the future, consider how these trends might play a role. They're not just shaping cities and towns, they're shaping the future of our planet. That's it for today's geography lesson. Stay curious and keep exploring how we fit into the bigger picture.